Complete Bay Area news coverage starts right now. This is KTVU Channel 2 News at 6. Good evening, I'm Beryl Dunn. Oakland police are investigating a shooting that left a man dead right outside a house where he was seeking help. Investigators say the police shot spotter picked up 10 shots fired at 78th Avenue at about 2 o'clock this morning. They say the victim ran to a home on Arthur Street, yelling and banging on the door for help. People inside called 911, but the young man died at the scene. There have been no arrests. Oakland Highway Patrol arrested a man who led them on a high-speed chase. The CHP says officers tried to pull over a car that was swerving on Interstate 680 in Walnut Creek at about 9.30 last night. The chase went from 680 to Highway 24, then to Interstate 980 at speeds up to 120 miles an hour. The driver crashed into a fire hydrant after taking the West Grand Avenue exit, where he and three passengers were taken into custody. Starting today, it takes a few more digits to make a local phone call in San Jose. People in the 408 area code now need to dial 1 plus the area code and 7-digit number to make a local call. That's because the South Bay is overlaying the new 699 area code in San Jose instead of splitting into separate area codes. Customers will start to be assigned the new 669 area code in November. San Francisco Congressman Nancy Pelosi was honored today as she marks 25 years in Congress. <laughs> The San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus surprised the House leader with a serenade in a celebration at the National AIDS Memorial Grove in Golden Gate Park. The House Minority Leader helped establish the grove in 1996. A new section of the grove to be built this summer will be named after Representative Pelosi. The United Nations Security Council today unanimously approved a resolution expanding the number of UN observers in Syria. Today's vote will increase the number of observers from 30 to 300. It also calls on to Syria to immediately stop the violence that has been escalating since a ceasefire broke down a week ago. An advanced team of UN observers is already on the ground in Syria. They reported only sporadic gunfire. Still come, a carjacking suspect who caused this traffic nightmare is dead tonight. How officials say it happened. And two Bay Area women's soccer teams face off for a cause. How Cal and Stanford are coming together to help a special little girl.